Hi there. It's Sue, and thanks for joining me for Tips and Talk Day. These are bite-sized topics that I pull from community questions and things that I'm observing in the world of handmade small business. If you'd like to submit a topic, DM me over on Instagram at giftbizunwrapped. Before we get started, I'm going to share a secret with you. One of my superpowers is the ability to get an enormous number of tasks and projects done each and every week. I easily meet deadlines, rarely forget to do something, and know at the start of each day what needs priority attention and action. Type A personality? (laughs) Yes. And a follow through on the Kobe assessment, which should have given me the clue. But it wasn't until people started commenting to me that I realized not everyone naturally knows how to do this. It's the biggest single contributor to the growth I always see in my businesses, without spending hours and hours working either. It's about focus and doing the right things efficiently. Prompted by all the questions on how I do this, I went about finding a way to help you perform at a higher level too. I analyzed my methods and formalized my process, which is one many of my coaching clients now also follow. You can use it too. It's all part of a tool called the Inspired Daily Planner, made specifically for gifters, bakers, crafters, and makers. Make no mistake, this is not your ordinary planner. First off, it comes with a video explaining my productivity strategy. And the physical planner isn't dated, so you can start using it the second it arrives at your doorstep. And that's not all. Included for each day is a motivational or business building tip, and plenty of space to capture and book in time for to-dos, scheduled appointments, and all those ideas that are now getting lost. You can watch the video for free and then get your inspired daily planner at giftbizunwrapped.com forward slash inspired. As an empty nester, life has changed. Of course, when the kids were home, my happy list was different. Soccer and basketball games, volunteering at the schools, shuttling kids from one thing to another, and eavesdropping on the carpool conversations. Okay, I admit it because we're all in the same car, right? Those days are long gone, but it got me thinking about what makes me happy today. First and top of the list always is when I get to spend time with the family. We're spread all over the country now, so it takes planning and is always so special when we can be together. And then when I move on to thinking about day-to-day things that I love, here is my list in no particular order. First off, The birds chirping at 4.30 in the morning. Yep, that's when they start over here. And it's such a beautiful sound coming from the open window along with a light summer breeze. I know I have a little more time to sleep, but often I just lay there enjoying the peacefulness nature brings and anticipating the day ahead. Number two, you might be surprised, is cooking dinner. I know you may be grimacing at this one, but it's on my list. We subscribe to HelloFresh, so the planning and shopping is all done. Except cooking these meals is no joke. It requires time and lots of pots and pans and baking sheets. A huge thank you to Michael, who takes on cleanup duty. But I find cooking to be a nice transition from workday to the evening, and the meals are always delicious. It's very satisfying for me. Number three on the list is my favorite place in the house, which is a little nook on my front porch. Our entrance has a long stone space that spans the front of the house. It's covered on top and sheltered by big evergreen bushes on the front. And in the very end in the corner, I have a table and two chairs. Whenever possible, you'll find me out there with my computer or sitting perusing a magazine, maybe even with a glass of wine. It's my little private piece of paradise. You'll even find me out there in the cold, covered in a blanket. As long as the season will let me, I stay out there. And the very best is during thunderstorms. Which brings me to my fourth favorite thing, 
weather drama. Thunderstorms and blizzards. Bring them on as long as nobody gets hurt. There's never enough snow for me, although we get our share here in northern Illinois. I've told this story before, but when bad winter weather is heading our way, I hear from people literally all over the world who know I'm excited and looking forward to a white, glistening wonderland. While we're on the topic of weather, another one of my favorite things is doing puzzles. Have you ever experienced a wooden puzzle? They're laser cut and are actually real wood pieces that I get such pleasure in handling. Actually, I learned about these after I broke my wrist because it was a great way to do physical therapy in terms of movement of my hands. And from then on, it was love of puzzles. Most of these also include pieces that go with the theme of the puzzle. So it's just really fun to put them together. This is my obsession during the time when we're more inside, October to May. All year long, I also love taking walks outside. Okay, not in the rain, but otherwise. Sunny days, windy days, even snowy days, I'm out for a walk. The fresh air is grounding to me, and I look forward to that personal time. Most often, listening to a podcast or an audiobook, as one foot goes in front of another. I find it also a great time to get in touch with the kids or other members of the family where I know the conversation is going to be very long. (laughs) Number seven on my list. Speaking of connecting with people, getting together with my girlfriends always leaves me feeling uplifted and joyful. Whether it's friends from high school, a dear group of girlfriends I met as the kids were growing up, or friends I've met through work, I always look forward to hanging out together and I always leave our gatherings feeling regenerated. We're already at number eight. I feel so fortunate to say that after 37 years of marriage, I still love being with Michael, and after all this time, we still honor Saturday date night. We both enjoy going out together, and many times it's just the two of us. We have one server who always comments that we actually talk and laugh with each other over dinner. I guess it's not always a common sight anymore. We also really enjoy traveling together. We have our set system of travel, and I look forward to each and every trip. I think this next one is going to be a safari. So excited. (laughs) Moving on. Number nine. Okay, I was trying to decide whether I was going to be honest and add this to the list or not. (laughs) It's my guilty pleasure. I look forward each day to crawling into bed and watching shows like The Bachelor, Survivor, Dancing with the Stars, and Grey's Anatomy. Yes, I do my fair share of Netflix and Hulu binging too. No judgment here. (laughs) I'll just leave it at that. Number 10 on my list is the only material thing that I have here as a favorite. My aura ring. Have you heard about these? It's a ring I wear on my finger that helps keep track of my health. It monitors my sleep, oxygen level, activity, pulse, temperature, so many things. Each morning when I wake up, I see, based on my physical stats, how prepared I am for the day. Sometimes it says to take it easy, but most of the time I'm set and ready to go. And I want to know these things to keep myself vibrant for each and every one of my days. I have to add one more brand new bonus favorite to the list, and that is Biscotti, our brand new puppy. In all our years of marriage, we've always had a dog in the house, or two, but for the last six months, we've been dogless. That's about all we could handle, and I'm happy to say we now have a fun new furry puppy working his way through his teething and learning all about the world. I still find it hilarious that after I did his DNA test, he isn't any of the breeds that we thought he was. (laughs) Not a single one. I can't wait for him to see the first snow. I started an Instagram account for him, too. You can take a peek at all the antics over at his Instagram account, at Biscotti Tales. And Tales is T-A-I-L-S. Now, why am I sharing my favorite daily life things with you? It's because I want you to think about yours. 
I found that once I wrote down this list, I gained even more pleasure in all the activities because I'd say to myself, this is one of the favorite things on my list. How fortunate am I right this minute to be doing what I love? And do you notice most of these are simple pleasures? Okay, not the traveling, but the others. It's really true that the small things bring the most happiness. The things that make up our day-to-day minutes as we pass through time. By recognizing them, perhaps you'll find ways to fit them in more often and appreciate them even more. Here's to our small, daily, favorite things that put a smile on our face and warm our heart. That's a wrap. I'm a get-to-the-point kind of girl, and this is what you can expect from these quick midweek sessions. Now it's your turn. Go out and fulfill that dream of yours. Share your handmade products with us. We want them, and they bring us both so much happiness.